So uh, here's my B50 Victor, um, nearly finished, running etc, but a couple of little jobs left to do, um, turned out quite nice from uh, the pile of junk that it was when I bought it. It's been imported, I think originally it was from California and uh, brought into the UK last year. So I've managed to get a dating certificate and a bit of history from the um, BSA Owners Club and also sent me the information to enable me to um, get it V5 road registered. So uh, yeah, we're all done in that respect. So there was a few uh, issues on the bike when I bought it, the, the forks were bent, so we've got uh, new stanchions in there. And also one of the fork legs when I opened it up was full of water and the shuttle valve had uh, rusted away. So I managed to get a really good second hand with those. So new seals etc, the forks were done. So the front wheel was really scrap, it was oval, whatever the impact was and um, it was a 20 inch rim and struggling to find decent tyre, trials tyres anyway um, for 20 inch wheel rims this day and age so I managed to get a 21 inch stainless rim and a stainless steel spoke set and uh, built up quite nicely so we've seen bearings in there as well and we're now running Pirelli MT 43's front and back. So moving up a bit, I um, kept this original electric box or whatever you want to call it. So uh, it was quite a nice space to fit a few bits and pieces in there. So what I've got in there is I've got the um, CDI control unit, I've got electronic ignition on here and also I fitted a Podtronics regulator rectifier which fits in there quite nicely also so I got rid of the plate rectifier and the Zener and we're now on a conventional more modern charging system which it charges quite nice 14.2 to 14.5 volts and uh, yeah very happy with that side of it so the, uh, the electronic ignition um, I've fitted these units before on a couple of bikes, I think they're quite good. They're actually made in Czechoslovakia and it's called Vape. And I'm just trying to think what's it marketed. Marketed through Wassel in the UK. So not the normal Wassel Chinese stuff. This Vape stuff is quite good. Um, the actual stator plate is made out of billet aluminium and uh, the induction co coils are and tabulated in resin so it's really really well made well put together nice stuff uh, as I say I've used them before and never had a problem the only issue on the B50 as opposed to the B25 and the um, side points version of the C15 and the side points version of the Tiger Cub that I've fitted in the past is the <coughs> space where the cable comes out is not in the ideal spot without carving up the unit which I didn't want to do so the original cable for the points came in at the top here and um, actually when I got this bike and I took the original chrome plated tin cover off it was actually full of water and it actually destroyed the um, the advance and retard unit and, and quite badly pitted the uh, points cam so they were scrap anyway so CDI in there but if you get this deep thinned uh, cover you can manage to get the plug um, and the cable and everything with the cover on quite neat and tidy plus with a half a file filed a half round slot in the bottom of this casing to bring the cable out through the bottom where it should really come out of anyway so if anything gets in there it can always leak out so that was a good um, 
a good move. <coughs> um, the gearbox, there was a an issue with the gearbox. Um, sometimes she would stick in between third and fourth, and uh, the the gears looked fine. But the the fault was the actual um, selector fork shaft which is like just a piece of 5 16 silver steel or whatever had a very slight bend in it how that ever occurred i wouldn't know but obviously every now and again the selector fork would stick in that one point so you'd have to rock the bike back and two move it back and two rock it in that gear and eventually it'd free but luckily i found that and that's sorted um i also fitted um a oil filter in the return line it's actually one of those Nord Commando uh, spin on filters so I also had to modify the uh, oil feed pipes slightly there was quite a lot of damage underneath the engine and the pipes were all folded up and twisted so I've now got some copper and a few fittings in there copper bit of copper pipe and then onto the rubber and then up into the filter and then I've got my feed to the rocker post filter um, you can just see in this Y connector here rightly or wrongly I don't know I mean originally the B25s that did have the um, oil filters in the return line fitting as standard they still had the feed for the rocker pre the filter so whether that will make any difference or what, I don't know, but there's plenty of oil getting up to the rockers, so I'm quite happy with it, rightly or wrongly, though I don't know whether it's right or, or whatever. Um, the exhaust, I think, is the original pipe. So the original ones on the Victor were matte black. It's not chrome underneath. I've obviously resprayed it. But it had a, it had a mega on the, on the back of it, and it was actually welded on. So and it must have been welded on in situ because I couldn't get it, get the pipe, the exhaust off. Uh, I was taking the engine out anyway and the only way I could get it out was when I took the engine out or otherwise you would have to have cut it off in situ. But anyway now we're on the, you know, the standard cone with springs etc. And I've also um, put a, a DB killer in there as well. Um, still a bit noisy but got a nice deep sound to it it's obviously well legal yeah uh, there was a couple of broken spokes um, on the back here but the rim was true and the rest of the spokes were good so I just took them all out cleaned all the threads got another couple of spokes and uh, rebuilt it obviously new bearings in there as well and obviously my Pirelli MT 43 18 by 4 on the back and obviously uh, my uh, also put a, a tyre clamp in there as well to stop us spinning because there's plenty of torque on this bike <laughs> um, the backlight which uh, the original backlight something like this one here off another bike I'm building at the moment some, something similar to that I think the original ones I don't particularly like the look of them but I saw this um, second hand it's off a, a later model Bonneville uh, not very old because it's all LED inside LED side and uh, tail but it yeah looks quite nice I think it suits the bike quite well <coughs> I'm quite pleased with that looks tidy uh, or what have we got on this side <coughs> okay um, whether this sprocket will do for road use or whatever I don't know um, I've not really, oh, well, not had a speed or, an, or a rev counter on it to know what it's doing properly yet, but I might have to drop down to a smaller sprocket, I don't know. But we'll see how we go when we get the speedo and um, and the rev counter fitted, whatever I end up using for that. But what I did struggle with, trying to find um, an original chain guard for the P50 Victor. So in the end, what I've done, this is off a... Um, a Royal Oil Field or Royal Enfield, whatever you want to say, um, fits quite nicely. A few modifications to it, bit of tin work, no welding or anything, just a bit of drilling and bending. It fits on quite well. 
and obviously no problem getting the wheel on or off with it either so uh, yeah good pleased with that uh, stainless steel 316 quarter rod and a nice little stainless clevis for the um, for the back brake and I have got this chain keeper or whatever it is I mean they don't have it on the road versions only on the trials versions and I actually have got one of these without that on but I'll put that one on I don't know yeah oh the rear pegs I think they're off a they're quite nice actually aluminium and uh, I think they're off a Peugeot moped or something but I uh, just picked them up uh, for a fiver for two which was quite good not that they'll probably ever get used but <laughs> It's got a twin seat on it, but no one's ever going to be sitting on the back of it, I don't think. Uh, yeah, this side, apart from the sump guard, which I've had to drop down a little bit more to accommodate, if we can get in there and see, the finned um, sump, aluminium fin sump. So that's on there, just in case I'm going to hopefully not but just in case I do get any wet something it's just a case of taking the plug out instead of taking the uh, the whole unbolting the sump but um, I've had another go at the valve clean the valve up in the valve seat if it's not successful then um, I'll be drilling the valve seat right out of that so in a timing case and I'll be putting a steel plug in there and I'll be drilling it and putting a tape on it to suit the ball bearing making it a hard a hard seat because I think that's the only issue with them whether they leak through the top of the oil pump shaft and whatever I don't know but see how we go with that hopefully it's it's going to be fine but there we go uh, what else on this side okay I think it's uh, the horn is off um, a Yamaha I think um, a little 125 Yamaha got that from a bit of stainless cover on it though which looked quite nice sounds quite well I obviously didn't have the lights on it when I got it um, even though I did buy a second hand original light which I've still got here they're bloody massive headlights um, didn't really like the look of it it wasn't in proportion to the bike so uh, I've got this little five and a half inch one which I think suits it quite well managed to graft a um, H5 is it headlamp LED headlight bulb in there quite nicely uh, obviously I managed to pick these up second hand these mounting arrangements they look a bit crappy but apparently that's what was on what what's on the bike from you obviously I had to make some spaces to accommodate the narrow smaller headlamp but I think it fits on there quite nicely it looks quite tidy obviously it didn't have any guards on it when I got it oh yeah it did have, I think it had a plastic one on the back nothing on the front but I managed to get this steel bit here which is an original fitment on the B50s uh, so yeah quite pleased with the guards probably need polishing up but not at that stage yet so levers and um, there was no levers oh, the, there was one lever on here which is very rusty and um, missing on the other side so these are just uh, your standard chrome uh, mild steel ball enders the original ones would have been those aluminium uh, multi-function switches on there etc so we just got the conventional levers um, I fitted a, a normally fit Ducons but this is a wide pack Tricon with the extra button so in that little electric box I also fitted a small relay and when I press that button it energizes the relay which makes the circuit for the CDI go open and shut the engine down obviously horn dip and maybe no side lights just dip or main and the switch positions are on and then turn the switch again and it gives you lights and then dip or head so no side lights in the front because you, you'd never be running just on side lights anyway whether that's legal or what I don't know but um, you know certain 
if I had headlights on a motorbike I wouldn't be running round in side lights and would you ever be parking it and needing side lights? I don't think so. So there we have it. Um, anything on this side at the top? <coughs> oh yeah, I was never impressed with the, the way that triumphs are the same. You know, the throttle cables just hang down and do a stupid turn into the into the uh, this side of the tank. So uh, I always end up making, so this is just a bit of alley I've turned up and put a gentle bend on it to get the cable to fit nicely. I don't, no, I don't like these cables that come straight down and, and around. I think they're ridiculous. Yeah. So there she is in her entirety, minus my last two bits and pieces. So, rev counter wise, I would love to have fitted um, the original unit which drives off the uh, off the little worm and wheel arrangement on the uh, on the end of the crank there but uh, they're like hen's teeth so um, I'll be fitting an electronic one in fact I've got, I'm going to show you one in a second which I'm looking to fit um, so that would be for the rev counter I've got the uh, the two to one um, speedo drive is there. I've got no cable and I've got no speedo. <coughs> um, I'm thinking of doing something different. Um, I like the look of these uh, GPS speedos. So I don't know if any of you guys have uh, ever fitted one, but um, obviously no cables. Obviously super accurate, and like they have a wake up time. Of like 10 seconds from cold so uh, yeah I'll be looking at that uh, in the next week or so but in the meantime I've bought this thing which I'm just in the throes of working out where it's gonna go so this is a, a two inch um, electronic rev counter uh, the instructions are as per normal from China absolute crap um, but I've worked it out so it will actually do a one two three four five six seven or eight cylinder engine apparently <laughs> just by pressing this function button on the bottom so I actually just hooked it up onto the bike because it just goes on the negative side of the cup on oh, negative earth by the way no obviously with my uh, more modern charging system so it goes on the negative side of the coil and uh, just uses the coil pulses so obviously because I've got my electronic ignition uh, which is also for twin cylinder model this is spark idle so one rotation of the crankshaft um, is half a rotation of the camshaft or two to one with the ratio so it's got spark idle on this so every time the engine turns over one full revolution whether it's valves rocking or whatever it's always going to spark so you obviously got this set for a twin and it will work as a single on this bike and it does quite work quite well so um, I've cut myself out a cardboard template so I'm thinking <coughs> rev counter on one side speedo on the other or something like that so I'm going to nail this um, electronic rev counter on first while I'm in the throes of looking at these uh, GPS speedos and uh, that's what we might end up with and when the speedos on I'll be street legal so anyway if you want to have another look in a couple of weeks time on YouTube I should have it at least one or maybe both of them fitted so take it easy gents, hope you soon